Hello. Today we're going to focus on externalities, specifically continuing our discussion from our previous question that we looked at. With externalities, as we said before, they take us out of our traditional equilibrium that we get to through market forces. Our externalities are not accounted for in that traditional setup. These can be positive or negative. In this case, with question three, we were looking at a positive externality. What we need to do with question four is see how we can get to the socially optimal level that we solved for in question three. So question three, we were looking at, you know, based off of our marginal social cost, our marginal social benefit for each of these two goods, how much it should we be producing optimally, right? But that's not what's actually being produced in the market. Okay, so what we need to do is first find what actually is being produced in the market, and then we need to solve for some sort of corrective government involvement that gets us to that social optimum. In this case, that's a subsidy because honeypots are being underproduced. So let's take a look. With this question, first we need to instead look at our private cost to producing honeypots instead of our, our public or social cost that we were looking at before. Our private costs to production of honeypots will just be the H squared over four value from above here. We're not gonna factor in the benefit received from rose producers from the amount of honeypots being produced. That's our private cost associated with honeypot production. Next, we can say that our marginal private cost to honey production is going to be h over two. We're just gonna take the derivative of h squared over four and we get h over two, okay? We're gonna set our marginal private cost of honey equal to the marginal private benefit of honey. In this case, that's gonna be the same as the social benefit because the only benefit being received from honey is the $2 value that we receive by selling each honey pot. So we can say that our marginal private cost to selling honey is H over two. Our benefit is two, okay? What we also need to do, however, is implement some sort of subsidy to get us to our optimal level. How we do so is saying that two equals H over two but minus some amount of subsidy, right? So we're gonna subtract out some subsidy from our cost, right? So our marginal private cost is here. We're gonna subtract some subsidy from it. Okay, so next what we can do is say that we know our optimal, our socially optimal amount of honey is 12 because we found that answer choice A was the best fit for question three. So two equals 12 over two minus S will be our optimizing condition, right? We're just trying to find the subsidy that gets us to this level um, where we're producing exactly 12 honey pots, which is socially optimal. So from there, we can say two equals six minus S. We can do a little bit of rearranging and the subsidy that we should implement as the government is $4, right? So we should do a $4 per honeypot subsidy, essentially stimulating the production of honeypots, right? If the government hands $4 to honeypot makers each time they produce another honeypot, then they will produce more honeypots, which is gonna be the socially optimal level that we're looking for. 